So I've got a question here. I'd love for Harley and Elliot to sit down and have a video debate or health training discussion. I think it'd be a hit and pretty damn interesting to see how it work out. Well, Elliot, who's Elliot? Oh, Elliot, that's that strength camp guy, isn't it? Well, uh, come on, little men pen. My little buddy, I'm actually going to eat this dog soon. Just feeding him up. A little miniature pincher. Elliot, now I've got nothing personal against this uh, strength camp guy. Just share my comments and criticisms. Elliot says we should be eating dogs. He says animals are food. And <laughs> I say I disagree. I'll let this guy go down. I disagree with that because I think it's pretty hypocritical, pretty fucking hypocritical to have a pet and then you go and eat animals a few hours later or meal time. I think that's pretty hypocritical. But hey, that's just me. That's just my personal comments there. Just move out of the sun a bit there. So we have Elliot. <sighs> Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. Where am I going to start in this one? Elliot, for me, this is just, again, nothing personal against it. Hang on, I've got a call coming. Can you I call you back? It's still on a YouTube video today. Uh, that uh, The guy on YouTube thinks he's a health guru and he smokes cigarettes. and Yeah, that guy. I'll call you back, mate. No worries. No, let's get my skills off. No more interruptions. So we're basically critiquing someone here. I'm a personal trainer. Elliot, I think, is pretty new to the scene. If you put us two, two together in a fitness competition, I'd smoke Elliot. I'd smoke him. Yes, he would have a stronger max bench press against me. I agree with that. He could flip a tire faster than I could for one rep because he's I'm six foot, Elliot's about five, five one, five one and a half. So he has that extra leverage being so short, he can flip the tire up a lot quicker than I can. But I think there's more to life than flipping tires in a car park. I did see a video recently where Elliot's flipping tires after about three or four flips, he's out of breath. <laughs> and I'm like, Elliot, man, <laughs> I would smoke you in a tire flipping competition. I would smoke you in a bench press competition. Not one next rap, you'd beat me. You'd beat me in the one rep max, definitely. But pound for pound could be interesting. But in total weight lifted, I would smoke you. I would smoke you so hard, man. In a fitness competition, any day. Uh, what else? Cardio. I mean, I wouldn't even do a competition with Elliot with cardio because it'd make him look a bit. You know, it'd sort of be like it, it wouldn't. You know, it's like having a race of your two-year-old cousin or something. It's like, come on, you're not going to do that. Um, what else would it be, Elliot? In a lot of things. Elliot says fruit makes you fat. So Elliot lives on. He does this intermittent fasting thing where he starves himself to try and lose weight. I think Elliot's a sincere guy. I generally, I think he's all right. Occasionally, he does a video where he actually says something, but most of the time he he talks a lot, but doesn't really say anything, you know. But occasionally he's got some good form on lifting and stuff like that, squat technique. So yeah, definitely, I'm not a you know, I'm not a I'm just sharing my comments and criticism. Nothing personal. Don't get or butthurt or whatever, just because I critique someone doesn't mean I'm enemies with them or whatever. Just sharing my comments and criticisms, not hating, just saying. A lot of people can't handle that, but hey. Elliot, also, he's into health, but he smokes cigarettes, smokes tobacco. You know, so <laughs> I don't know if you can be a health leader to the young generation, to the teenagers coming up, call yourself a, a role model and you're smoking cigarettes, you're smoking tobacco. I don't personally, that's not the sort of person I find inspirational for our upcoming generation. I would be more inspired by Elliot if he stopped smoking, if he stopped drinking, if he stopped supporting GMO foods. He would, he would eat GMO foods and go, I'm trying to genetically modify my genetics. So Elliot doesn't really care too much about health, which is sad because he does have a family and he's got kids and a wife, which he never shows his wife, I'm not sure why, but I know if I had, I know if I didn't show freely, she would go, what, are you ashamed of me? Why don't you put me on your YouTube channel? Are you ashamed of me? So, again, it's sort of like, if you've got a family, you want to be healthy. You want to look after your health. You don't have time to be doing all this sort of stuff. Now, what I do like about Elliot is he is open. He is honest. He doesn't pretend to be like a natural bodybuilder like some of the other channels, you know, TMW, and I won't say too many names, but a lot of people are like, well, we're all natural. At least Elliot doesn't, put on that fakeness and pretend that he's a natty bodybuilder, full natty. That's what I like about Elliot is he's open like that. You know, so that's good. That's a thumbs up there. Uh, but my sincere question to Elliot would be, how long can you do that bodybuilding lifestyle 
with all the stuff and have still have good kidney function later on in life. I know Elliot, if you see under his eyes, there's a lot of black there. See, mine's very clear, very clear. But Elliot's starting to get that adrenal issue, the redness and then the brownness under here. That would indicate to me someone who is living a lifestyle that's not kidney, uh, what's the word? Kidney health orientated. It's not conducive to overall renal and endocrine function long-term, hormonal function long-term. Whenever you start playing with your hormones long-term, that's when you get a lot of side effects long-term. So now it's all right, everyone's jacked and happy and merry, but long-term, I ask a sincere question, Elliot, how long can you sustain this? Doing those things you're doing to have that sort of size. But at least you're open with it. That's why I do respect a lot of people out there who aren't that open with it. Um, so that's my comments and criticisms. You know, nothing personal, I hate just saying. People ask me to do a review. I'm fitter than Elliot. I'm stronger than Elliot in terms of overall weight lifted. He does have one rep max stronger than me, I agree. Um, things like that. If we, if we were in a MMA competition, I'd definitely have the one up on him because my cardio is just so much more advanced than Elliot. He would have a, a probably a stronger strike. Um, but he would gas out pretty quick. So if you've seen his video where he flips four tires, he's already gassed out. So if you can block and dodge and move for 30 seconds, then boom, you, 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 you have him because the dude's gassed out. You know, when I try and Muay Thai in uh, Thailand, they always say, you know, 90% of fights are won with fitness. So as long as your technique's good, defense is good, striking's good, kicking's good, blocks, knees, elbows, etc., then it will come down to cardio, fitness, end of the day. So I guess, you know, what I'm saying is I'll probably be more inspired his grapes are really good. The more inspired by Elliot, he's challenged for Elliot. He's challenged for Elliot. If he did three years full natty lifting, bodybuilding, powerlifting, full natty three years, and then start telling us how it is, that would be inspirational. That would be inspirational. Because, you know, anyone can do a few cycles and be a lifting, be a bit of size, be mass. But full natty for a few years. Now we're talking. That would be inspirational. I mean, this is the thing. Why do you want to get so big? For like, for what? I got the hottest girlfriend of any YouTube fitness channel. No. Oh, you're a sweetie. I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone because of that. Because I've got the hottest girlfriend of any YouTube fitness channel doesn't make me better than anyone else. I'm just saying that. A lot of people say, oh, I've got to have big mass, I've got to do gear and that, and uh, blow the kidneys out to put on, you know, 10-inch muscles or whatever, but to get a hot chick. But it's like, hang on, that Duran Rider guy, he's got the hottest girlfriend of any YouTube fitness channel, period. Now, I'm open to I'm open to people's channels on that, but again, guys, don't think that you have to get on the gear and get jacked to get hot chicks, because look at me. <laughs> Look at me, man. I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty cut and lean, but I ain't exactly probably the biggest guy out there when I'm doing the, the head deadlift. So that's what you got to remember, man. You want to get big, be a stronger version of yourself for what? Just to walk down the street and have a bunch of teenagers admire you? I don't know if it's worth sacrificing your long-term health for that, you know. But hey, that's just my comments and criticisms. Nothing personal. Just saying. That's all it is, man. It's just advice. You can do what you want to do with it. It's just advice. It's all it is. I'm going to keep carving the fuck up. Post your comments and questions down below. What's your favorite exercise for building a thick chest? Post it down below. Peace.